We're going through the book of Psalms, and today we're grouping together Psalm 57 through 61. And I want you to listen to some of the topics that are discussed as David is writing these Psalms. There's prayer for protection and safety in Psalm 57. Assurance that he writes about in Psalm 58 of that God will deal with and judge the wicked. And that his judgment, as you go into the next chapter, is his judgment is just, it's right. He prays for God's favor in chapter 60. And finally, he, in, in chapter 61 of the book of Psalm, he, he prays for the assurance of God's favor. See, David feels far, far away from God because of what's happening in his life. So, so listen to this verse from Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. What's going on in David's life right now? Well, Absalom has taken the throne, his son, and David's been pushed out of the kingdom. And so he feels far, far away. And that's why this Psalm says, from the end of the earth, I will cry to you. It's not like he's at the end of the earth, but sometimes you can feel that way. And this, then, he, then he has this response to it. L listen to what he says. He says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And I think sometimes we need to pray that prayer. When we feel overwhelmed, when we feel like people are against us, our circumstances aren't going our way, or times are difficult, we cry out, Lord, I feel so far away, I feel so isolated, please lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And of course, our rock would be Jesus Christ, where we build our life on that solid rock, that solid foundation. And so like David, here in this grouping of Psalms, we lift our hearts, we give our cry to the Lord, and many times it comes to the place where we say, Lord, I feel so, so far away, but lead me to the rock that's higher than I. And that rock for you, for me, for us, would be the rock called Jesus Christ. Lord, lead us to you.